When ISIL swept into northern Iraq in June, it didn't just capture territory. It seized assets, property, gold, and cash from citizens, business people, and banks. Iraq's finance minister says over half a billion dollars was stolen from banks in Mosul, Tikrit, and other cities. ISIL is believed to be the richest such organization in the world. A lot of that revenue comes from Iraqi oil fields. The group has retained control of major oil fields in the north of Iraq. From there, it smuggles oil to Turkey or sends it to refineries it has taken over in Syria. Air campaign target those facilities in Syria and some in Iraq in order to deny them and to deprive them of this revenue. But uh, they have uh, enormous financial resources. They are paying their uh, recruits or their soldiers or their fighters uh, good salaries, better than what we can afford to, to pay ours. That's partly because Iraq has a serious financial crisis. The economy is expected to shrink this year because of lower oil output due to the war and unchecked government spending, including on the militias propping up Iraqi security forces. But the Iraqi government believes that five months of airstrikes and more effective ground forces have put ISIL on the defensive. It's apparently planning to push on with an attack on Mosul to recapture the city taken by ISIL in June. The Iraqi government has set up an operational room for the liberation of Mosul, okay? Uh, and this can only be done in concert, of course, uh, in coordination with the coalition, not uh, uh, separately. But I believe it's doable. And uh, contrary to what many people believe or think, I don't think it would be a long-fought uh, battle. He and other Iraqi leaders, though, say airstrikes and an army won't be enough. Reclaiming Iraq's third biggest city will rely on persuading Sunni tribes and others who have so far been on the sidelines to fight ISIL as well. Money has always been one of Iraq's biggest weapons, but now the Iraqi government is struggling with a serious financial crisis at the very time it needs money most. Iraq's new finance minister says with the fall in world oil prices, the government will have to make some tough decisions on cutting spending while being able to continue this fight. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.